Hey friends, good evening guys. How are you doing friends? Welcome, welcome everybody. Lou Evans here with Larise. My friends, jump on because I'm going to tell you what we're about to work on. So I just hope that you're doing good. And uh, so we're getting ready to start a very colorful arrangement or centerpiece here for Mardi Gras. So for those of you who like Mardi Gras, I really hope that you can, um, that you like this design that we're working on tonight. Hey, Sandra, how are you? Welcome, welcome everybody. Hey friends, so if you can, uh, please just let me know if you're seeing me, hearing me, okay? Hey Michelle, my buddy Michelle. How are you Michelle? So tonight we're going to be doing a Mardi Gras centerpiece and I'm gonna show you uh, the pretty pieces that I'm, that I'm trying to use on this design today. Hey Debbie, how are you? So, one of the things that I want to use, guys, is obviously, as you can see, a container. This is a very inexpensive container that you can pretty much find anywhere. I think this one I got it at the, um, it was, I think it was either Dollar General or the 99 cent store. One of those two. Hi, how are you, Lorena? So, it is hot pink, okay? I wish I could have found a purple one, but they did not have purple. So I said, okay, well, for this one, at least hot pink will do. So it's hot pink. And um, we're going to, you, to use a masquerade. So I am debating on which one I'm going to be using. Hey, Karen, how are you? And the reason I'm doing this one, guys, is because I think that at some point you guys saw me one that I created in the past. And all of you, well, not all of you, but many of you were asking how I made it. Yay, there you go, Leafa. Now you can try it. Now, let me tell you guys that centerpieces like these can be made very tall too, depending on the base that you're using, okay? There are some, hey, Mary, I'm doing great, and you, dear. So there are some things that you can use that are tall. Uh, they can be containers like beverage containers, and you can create something very tall with these here and very spiky stuff on the bottom. So it is great, okay? So this is what I'm either going to be using this one or this one, okay? I'm not sure yet, depending on how this bottom is gonna turn out. Because guess what? We're going to be using mesh for the bottom. Normally what I was using on the other one, I think it was tool. And I could not, um, I did not have a chance to, to go to the store to get me some. So I said, you know what? Mesh will do too. So Because I have this one and I said, I need to start using what I have. So I'm using this mesh. And I think this mesh came from Craft Outlet. It's been a while since I got it. So since I really don't do much mesh. Hey Mary, how are you? How did everything go with your sister, Mary? I hope that everything turned out good. <laughs> there you go, Michelle. So anyway, this came from Craft Outlet, my friends. And Craft Outlet has all sorts of Mardi Gras mesh. You can just go and check them out and see if you find something that you like. Uh, so purples, gold colors, greens, um, hot pinks, black, uh, gold, anything like that can work for these designs. And obviously purple, right? Okay, so in addition to these, guys, I'm not sure if I will use them or not, but I have some multiple picks that I found me at Walmart. And I was very happy when I found these, guys, because they are pretty, they're cute, and they are also affordable, great prices for something uh, cute that you can use on your designs, whether they're wreaths, centerpieces, uh, swags, anything, okay? Hi, Michelle, how are you, honey? Oh, thank you, Michelle, I appreciate it. Thank you for, thank you for coming to see me. And then this one that I had just dropped, see how cute it is too? Came from, um, also came from Walmart, okay? And it says Mardi Gras. So that's what, that's what I'm planning on using if I have enough room in there, okay? So don't hold me to it. I don't know until I actually start designing and then I'll see what what kind of items I'm gonna want in there. So uh, I, you have probably have noticed that when I make my, my designs, 
most of the time I have not made up my mind on the items that are going to go on the wreath or whatever it is that I'm designing because I'm just going as I am seeing that it fits, okay? So if you like to plan ahead on things, it's great. And normally that is my plan, but most of the time it doesn't work out like I plan it because I change things as I am designing it. So, <clears throat> so anyway, you're going to need a small container of your choice. If you don't want to use a container, you can also use a candle holder, okay, candlestick. Those work perfect for these kinds of uh, arrangements that we're going to be making today, okay. You can use that. You would just put a piece of foam on it. You glue it, and so you can stick to it very well, and then you design on it. So, since I have this container, I'm going to start by placing my foam, okay. Now, did you see, did you see what I was what I got busy making, Mr. Lord, I came home. No, well, actually, before I came home, I was like, he sends me a message. He's like, what's for dinner? And I said, I don't know, whatever. Did you take anything out? Because he gets home a lot of times earlier than I am. Sometimes late, but it's not, I mean, early, earlier sometimes and late sometimes. So this time he made it home earlier. And he says, what are we having for dinner? And I said, he says, well, chile rellenos. I did not know what we were going to have for dinner. And he loves Mexican food. But now with his issue with the, with his uh, gallbladder, so we need to be careful on what he's eating. So I was telling him, are you sure that you want to do that? Because I don't want you to end up in the hospital. <laughs> and so he says, no, I think I'll be fine. So I had to change my recipe to fit his needs. But um, anyway, uh, some of you were asking what my recipe is, and it's nothing particular, my friends. It's, I just got to roast the uh, peppers first before I um, just glue, okay, before I start prepping them. So I just roast them, make sure that, you know, the, the, all the skin is removable because if not, they tend to be a little chewy, so I need to remove that. <laughs> and then you just stuff them with whatever. Some people like to stuff them with cheese only. I like to stuff them with beef, like ground beef with taters and tomatoes and peppers and things like that. So that's what I, we stuff them with. Because he cannot have cheese, so we, we're not using cheese on that. So I think they turn out delicious. And so he enjoyed them. So there you go. So I just put that in piece in there. I'm going to cut me two more pieces, okay, because I want this to be tight. And I'm going to try to fit them in here. And I need to be careful because I don't want to break my container. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... See, I'm just going to make this cut here. So if you look at it from the side, I just made a cut see it here so it can fit better, like that. So I just need like a piece of extra, um, of more foam so it can, my mesh can stick to this thing as I am placing it, okay? So that's all I'm doing. I don't want to have like big gaps of things there. So I'm going to cut me one more here. This is probably too big. Okay, better. So I'm going to do the same kind of cut that I did on the other one. See? On the bottom, like that, so it can stick better. Because I just need more of the top part. So I put a little bit of glue so it can stick to it. And I stick it on my container. And I'm probably going to do other small pieces on the sides, just to have it even. Okay, this Donna, this cutter I'm using, believe it or not, is um, a pastry cutter. You know, this, this is what um, bakers use to cut their dough or icing or anything or batter, clean batter or anything like that. That's what, that's what it is. But I like it because it's sharp. And um, I I used to make soap, or I still make it. As a matter of fact, I need to make me some, and I have it. 
Um, but I used to make soap, and that works perfect for it. You can buy yourself a soap cutter too, which is very similar to that. And um, so that's what I use to cut my uh, my foam. It works very well. You can also, if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, you can get yourself one of those uh, spatulas, like to do the sheetrock, to do the covering of sheetrock and all that stuff. And uh, those work very well too. I have used some of those uh, in the past too. But Mr. Lorie did not appreciate it, so I stopped using them. <laughs> and I started using this. So I think it's they come very handy, and so I um, I like those a lot because they're more more um, they're a lot easier to to use. So so I had to buy me like different things because I would just go and get Mr. Lorit's tools until he actually protested. <laughs> He said something. He says, ah, you need to stop using my tools. And I said, okay, that's fine. So I had to go get me some. All right. So now that I'm done with my foam, guys, uh, let me clean this a little bit. Let me remove these things here. Hey, Barbara, how are you? How are you doing? All right. So now the next thing that I want to do, guys, is I want to um, cut my mesh, okay? Because I need to decide how much mesh I'm going to need for this thing here. And my guess is I'm going to need, well, I'm going to need several of them because, um, because I want it to be very, like, very full. <laughs> So I'm going to cut these pieces, I don't know, I'm going to say maybe 12 inches, okay, and then we're going to ruffle them, and we're going to put them on here. And I'm going to use my pick machine to be able to do that, okay, so I'm going to tie them up, and then I'll use a pick on each one of them. And then uh, we'll see. We'll see how they're going to turn out. I know it. <laughs> I know, Betty. That's fine, hon. We just barely got started. We're starting to cut this mesh. And we just, all we did right now was we did the placement of the foam inside the container. And that's all we've done. Well, thank you for joining us, Jan. I appreciate it. My friends, um, if you can do me a favor, guys, if you can share my video, I would very much appreciate it. Thank you for doing that for me. It's great. I, I, I love it when I see that you guys share it. It's, it's awesome. It makes me feel good inside. It makes me really think that you uh, enjoy watching my videos and that you... Uh, just show your appreciation by pushing that button there. And uh, that means a lot to me. So thank you. Yes, the container is plastic, guys. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get started with these right here. I'm not sure that will be enough, but we'll go ahead and, and see. Okay. Now I'm going to do it, but I'm, I need to be careful. I'm going to leave a piece here open in the middle because I need to decide on which one of these two I'm going to use. Okay. So see how pretty this is going to be? So, and this is going to go in the middle, okay? So guys, if you're just jumping on and you don't know me, my name is Luz, okay? So my name is Luz Evans, and I am here normally every Monday and every Wednesday of the week. And sometimes if I'm doing something that, you know, I need to show you, like going shopping, <laughs> Well, then I will come live too, and um, and I'll show you what I'm shopping for, okay? I like taking you places. So sometimes you're going to see me come live every once in a while during the day. When I'm taking my lunch break, uh, if I am going to a store and I have enough time to do a live, I do it. 
because most of the time I gotta be running guys oh uh, well thank you Paula thank you thank you so these uh, pieces of mesh that I just cut my friends they are 12 inches long and this is a 10 inch wide mesh by the way I don't think I told you that but probably you were able to see it um, but yeah this is a, a 10 inch 10 inch mesh that I'm using and the length that I just cut is 12 inches I did not see your question honey you were asking me if something was too big I would like to see what that was so I can give you an answer So all I'm doing right now is I'm just adding, I'm curling this, I'm ruffling my mesh so I can start placing them. And I am thinking I might be needing some more, but we'll see. Let's finish doing them all and then we'll decide. Okay. So tell me, do you decorate for Mardi Gras? Hi, Joanne. Or you don't decorate for Mardi Gras. I gotta tell you, I don't, guys. I don't decorate for Mardi Gras. Um, but I do. Oh, the mask. Okay, the mask, guys. At some, I think that that mask came from um, one of the suppliers here in Houston. But the smaller ones, guess what? I bought them at the ninety-nine cent store. You will also find some, some, you will, if you go to the dollar store, you're going to find them there too. Now, uh, it depends because some stores vary. Uh, some will not have the ones with the stick, but if you don't find one with the stick, you can just put up a stick on it, okay? You can just get yourself a, um, a long stick or guess what those sticks that I tell you to keep all the time that you cut off from your floral stems you can just use one of those okay and the masquerades you find them at the dollar store Dollar Tree has some at the 99 cent store here in Texas has some I bought a lot of those there they were not as pretty as the other one but they have they have nice selections there and get guess also what store has very nice ones very pretty ones uh, Party City. Party City has some really nice Mardi Gras things right now. Um, they got they got masks, they got beads, they have masquerades, they have signs, they have all sorts of pretty stuff there right now. I just went the other day and I got me a sign from there that I'm gonna be using on a read that I will be making too. So. So yeah, um, you know, you might want to go ahead and try different places because you're going to find Mardi Gras pretty much in all those stores. Hey, Janet. I'm doing well, honey. How are you? How are you doing? So, um, so yeah, guys, give it a try. Go visit your local stores. A lot of times where... Um, you know, we don't think about certain stores, and when we go, we get we get surprised because they have cute things. You're in South Carolina, Joanne. Why was I thinking that you were probably more like up north? Well, welcome, Janet. So, yeah, that's what I, uh, that's where I found it. And then uh, for Mardi Gras online, if you, if you don't live in a, like a big town where you cannot find a lot of things, um, online you will find Mardi Gras things from Craft Outlet. And there is another store online, guys. If you did not know about this, I'm going to give you this name of this store online. And the name of the store is Mardi Gras Outlet. I think they are related with, um, with uh, the Craft Outlet people. 
So they literally the name of this of the store is Mardi Gras Outlet. And you're going to find anything and everything Mardi Gras at that store. They will ship. Now, I don't think they offer free shipping, though. But you, if you're looking for Mardi Gras things, if you're having trouble finding any Mardi Gras things where you live, you need to go sh check out that store. It's online. You can order online. And uh, they will ship to you. Anyway. Okay. So I'm going to start now uh, placing these things, guys. And like I said, we're probably going to be needing some more. So we'll see if we will or not. We'll just cut us some more here. Okay. And the thing on this design, guys, is that we got to make sure that we are putting them together close enough. Okay. So they got to be together because we got to create fullness on this. Yes, purple. You know, purple, green. Some people like to do a uh, black and gold design too, although that's not so much Mardi Gras, but uh, some people use it. So, you know, this is still good. So you just gotta make sure that you are placing all your, um, all your mesh together, okay? Close, very close, because we gotta, we gotta create volume on these things. Pick machines, um, guys. I bought me mine at um, eBay, and the reason I bought it there is because it's cheaper than if you buy it new. If you buy it new from stores like Hobby Lobby or any other craft store. At Hobby Lobby, you can use the 40% coupon, okay? Uh, but you're going to end up still paying over $100 for, for it. Now, I bought mine at eBay, and I only paid $70 for it. Now, it was pre-owned. It was not brand new, but it was in excellent condition. It might as well be new. Um, so, and I only paid $70, and it was free shipping, too. The guy did not charge me for shipping, so I think that was a great deal. Now, you can find them also at Amazon. Yes. Yes, they are expensive. Um, you can find them at Amazon. You can find them, like I said, on eBay. You can find them locally. If you have any floral store, uh, you're going to find them there. But, uh, you, like I said, you're going to be you're gonna be paying uh, over 100 bucks for them. Some places sell them for 200 and plus. Um, so I would say, you know, if you're on a, on a hunt for one, you need to probably shop it. You need to shop around to see what kind of, you know, look for the best deal that you can get. Because these puppies are not cheap. Okay. So just keep on looking. Shop around. Keep on looking. And, um, hopefully you'll, you'll find a good deal on it. Okay. So see, it's getting full, right? But, 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 I still need here. So I need probably three or four more right here. Because I, like I said, the secret to this is that it's got to be very full, okay? It's got to be very full to create volume. So we're going to go ahead and cut us three or four more. Um, it's a P I C K and for example, the brand for this one guys is a uh, steel picks. That is the brand of the machine. Okay. But there are other brands too. A same type of work, you know, just different brand, same kind of machine, just different brand. And, um, it's, uh, they call it floral pick machine or floral stem machine. Maybe this is my last one. Let's see if that will be enough. All right. So I think probably with these, that will be enough, my friends. So let me go ahead and get this. So I really hope that, um, you know, 
that those two stores that I just told you about right now, you know, like I said, if you don't have anything close by to get Mardi Gras, try those two stores. You're going to be happy with what you find there. Oh, it's okay, Miriam. You will be good. You'll be okay. That's right. The glue, guys, all I did is I hot glued that to the container. That's all I did. You, use, you can use your hot glue pan or your hot glue gun, and uh, that's how you attach it to it. Make sure that you have a solid uh, fullness of foam on your container so that because you see how many you got to put in there, how many things you got to stick in there. So just make sure that, um, that yeah, you have... Uh, the container totally full of a foam in there. All right. Joanne, for this one, when they are like wide, I don't have, I don't do it. But if they're skinny and they're tall, then yes, I do do it because at some point the things that I put in there, they're going to weigh too much and this can probably, it's not going to be very well balanced. But this one has, is a wide container, so I don't think I will have an issue with it. But when you guys have, a, like I said, a skinny container or narrow container and it's tall and very lightweight, Yes, you need to probably weigh your container, and the way you do it is you can use like river rocks. You can put it inside a Ziploc bag, and you glue it. Once it's in the Ziploc bag, you put a little bit of glue and stick it all the way on the bottom of it. And then you place your regular floral foam on it. And uh, that will add the weight that you need for uh, stability on your arrangement. Okay, so it's not, it's nothing difficult, but it's just something you have to do to make sure that your um, centerpiece is not going to be just going everywhere. Okay. See how it's looking very full now? glue and now that you are seeing it then you can just go back and you know just adjust your uh, ruffles to make sure that it looks full but see how pretty it looks so see very easy to do it doesn't take much uh, with one roll of mesh you can get several of them you can get at least maybe three to four of these um, see very easy okay so now in the center my friends I'm gonna make me some room here because now I need to start testing my um, masquerades okay so I want this one here there okay now my only thing with this is that I want I want to add also some beads to it and I want to be able to have a little bit of more room to do that. So what I'm going to do, and I should have done it before, but since I couldn't make up my mind on what I wanted to do, so I can do that one, or I can do this one here. Which one do you like better? I like the one with the feathers better, huh? Because it's fuller. So I think I'm going to do the one with the feathers. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut me, again, another piece of foam. Let me see. I think I already have one here. Mm, but I probably need it a little bit taller, fatter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
cut me another piece here. And it's gonna be a little thick. I want it a little thick. Okay. And I want a little piece that is a little tall because I want it in the center just to add a little bit of more height to that, okay? So that's all I'm doing. And it doesn't even have to be very big or very chunky. I just need it to be taller. And I think just about right there is good. Now I need to make sure that it's wide enough for me to stick this thing in there. And see now I have added high to do that. Okay, so now let's do this the right way. So because this is going to be a taller piece, and I needed to make sure that this is not going to come off, okay? And since I was not thinking, so we're gonna, I'm going to show you how you can do it afterwards. Best thing is to do it at the time that you were placing your foam. But if you are like me, that you are not sure, well, then we're going to do it this way. You, you would have done it the same way that we're doing it right here, except that you would have done, done it before the mesh, not after, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut myself a little piece of um, this wood stick, and we are going to do a little bit of a sharp pick on here, okay? And this is going to be attached to the bottom, like that. Okay, now we're going to cut this other piece, and this is going to be inserted in the foam, okay? We're going to add glue to make sure that as we are pushing it, it's not only going in, but it's also going to be glued to it. So, I'm going to do glue. So, see, I just put some glue in there, and now I'm going to stick it in here in the center okay so it's gonna go here like so I gotta make sure I'm not gluing any of the any of the mesh okay and so now I have it there this is what I was needing I wanted just a little bit that much height in there you see this piece is adding height to this thing so now that I have position that in there. Now I'm ready to insert this in here. And see how I made it taller. Okay, so now I am going to put glue on my stick and I'm going to insert this here. And right about there is good. I don't want it to be too way deep in there because then it's going to defeat the purpose of me adding height to it. Okay. So I'm just going to give it a minute for it to dry. This is going to dry fairly quick because this glue dries fast. And that's what I like about it. All right. So now that is it right there. Okay. Now let's, now that I have done that, we have our main items in there. I'm going to let it rest for a little bit. I might add a little bit more glue on top. So let me go ahead and do that. Just to make sure that it's going to be sealed in there. That it's not going to go anywhere. All right, we're going to let it rest for a minute. Now I'm going to get me my beads, okay? I want to add some beads to this. And so beads, guys, you can also find some very nice ones at the dollar store. They're going to have some uh, music uh, instruments hanging from here. Or you're going to have also some crowns and coins, anything. These are plain uh, because I bought them last year. But I have been to Dollar Tree already and they have some nicer ones, pretty ones. So I have, uh, this is gold, purple, and green as you can see. So I'm going to start seeing where I want this to go, okay? And what I normally want to do is, this is supposed to go in the front, like that. So what I can do is I can start doing some like this, you see? Or from, you can do them from the back, or you can do them from the front too. Either way, however you want it. 
and we can add other things here, okay? So we can do both. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing some from the back first, and then I will come back and start doing some from the uh, front. So I'm going to start in the back. I'm going to start doing these here, and I'm going to have to hold them a little bit while they get dry. And we're going to do like different uh, hanging pieces, okay? So just use your hot glue. What I like about the, the um, pan, guys, is as you can see, I can get glue on my hands and this glue is not hot like the gun like the glue gun by now i would be screaming with the glue gun but this it's almost like the glue here gets hot enough to melt but it does not burn it's not the burn you're gonna feel it's hot but it's not the burn that you get with your regular glue gun so that's why i say you know i highly recommend for you to get the pan instead of the regular uh the regular gun Okay, so now I have that, and I'm going to start layering these, okay? So now I'm going to go with the purple one, and I am going to, I will do like different le uh, levels, just so you can see them, like that, okay? So I'm going to cut me a piece here. go here, hold it for a minute. Veronica, this is a glue that I got me from um, on eBay too, and they call it H HB30 or 300. I gotta, I gotta look at it, honey, because it's been so long since I got it. And they don't, it does not have like a specific name. They go by a number. They go by a number. Okay. So now I'm going to do this gold. And I am going to dip it in here. All I'm doing, guys, is just doing this inside, okay? That's all I'm doing. I mean, in the back. I'm just gluing it in the back. I'll show you when I finish this. Now, I just got to be careful because, as you can see, it can go this way. It's going, see how it's going that way because I'm adding weight to that. So that means I'm going to have to put something in here. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to start placing some over here in the front, okay, to outweigh that. If not, I'm going to have to place something in here to kind of keep on adding more weight to that side. So I'm going to bring this here. And probably I think it, it would be better if I bring them together. So let me see. Maybe I can use some of this piece of pipe cleaner and let me see if this is gonna work, okay? So if I can bring some of these. I can attach them like this. And they don't have to be like the same type of uh, length. They can be smaller or they can be um, 
or they can be longer. Like so. So I'm gonna try to use the pie cleaner to put the uh, glue in there and see if that will attach, okay? I don't know if it will or not, but I'm gonna try it. It should, but we'll see. working. All right. So now we have the beads. Now, because see this thing keeps on leaning towards that side, so I need to do something about that. And we're going to go ahead and fix it. I am looking for more of the green. I guess I ran out of it. I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about it. So this is what we're going to do, guys, because see how this is going towards that side? I don't want it to do that, so we need to do something about it. So let's go ahead, and to do that, I'm going to try to use one of these things here, okay? So we are going to cut this. <laughs> see how it's winning it? It's winning this. So I'm going to cut this. I'm just going to cut the clip. And I want to add something to hold this onto it. Something that is going to be holding this. Now let me see if I did it wrong. Okay, like that. I want something that is going to be holding this in place like that. So I'm going to fix this, got to make sure that it's looking pretty, right? And that thing, that right there is going to do it. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to use uh, probably wire or the zip tie, I mean uh, the um, pipe cleaner. So I'm going to tie it up here on the bottom. And all I'm doing is I'm keeping it together, okay? Keeping it together. Because this thing just needs... Yes, Barbara, I probably should have done that. I thought it was going to be okay, and it obviously was not. Okay, so now I'm going to glue that. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue to keep this in place. Okay. All right. Okay. So now, I think this is going to do the trick. Now, to make sure, we're going to do, we're going to add these two. Okay. So this right here, we're going to add this other one. So I'm going to do the same thing. Now, before I do that, guys, let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to do one, two, three, probably three or four more of the mesh, okay? Because I want to bring that up a little bit. So let's go ahead and use it. One. probably work. That would be enough, I would say. So let's go ahead and do that. I 
<laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> yeah, guys, some of these things, you know, we just got to go with the flow. Sometimes we have something in mind and it ends up being different. So, there's nothing we cannot change. So, have you made any Mardi Gras arrangements just yet? Hmm? Okay, this will be my last one. See, as you can see, the machine is perfect for these things, guys. Because you could also use regular wood picks to do this, but it would be like too much. It would be like wiring and doing all that stuff. It will take you some time. All right. So we're going to see how this is going to work out, guys. All right. So I'm going to start putting more here. So I want to cover some of the tall part of it, okay? Yeah, Mardi Gras does well, guys. If you haven't tried doing Mardi Gras for um, to add, if you are doing this as a business and you have not tried Mardi Gras yet, I think you should try it. You need to try it because it uh, it does well. People like it. Now let me turn this so I can see. I guess here is good. All right. Okay, guys. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this other one and I'm going to cut the clip because see these come with clips. Oh, okay. Well, then that's great. These are perfect for gala um, uh, parties, receptions. And like I said, you can, you can uh, make them on taller containers and they can look very pretty, very, very pretty. Very pretty. So I'm gonna use this one like right here, guys. Gotta make sure that I'm hitting the foam where it's supposed to. Okay. Hey Kevin, how are you? How are you doing? that I guess comes here and I am going to bring this one closer to this end too so if I can probably reinforce it too with this I'm gonna do it like that yay okay here's the other piece that I was looking for earlier so I'm gonna let me turn it around because I want to place this blue. I mean this blue, this uh, green here. Oh, this is looking pretty, guys. It's looking good. So let me just place this one here. I want some of this uh, green in the front too, on this other side. Like 
that. And because all this here is glued right here, I want something to cover that. So what I'm going to do is, let me see. No, not a bow. Let me see. I think I'm going to do, um, where's my, uh, the other pick that I had were St. Mardi Gras. Must have dropped it. Did I drop it? Mm. No. Let me see this. Oh, it's right here. So I'm going to use this one, guys, to cover these things here. But let me see if it's going to look good, okay? I'm going to turn it around. And let me put it in here. I think it's gonna look good, but I just I don't need this because it's gonna cover some of the um it's gonna cover some of the um feathers and I don't wanna cover the feathers. So I'm just gonna undo this one right here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna place it right here. So that's gonna go there. So I'm gonna put some glue on here. And I'm going to glue this right here. And it doesn't even have to be like uh, straight. want to be able to glue it so it can cover that part where I glued all those beads. Okay. See? Now I am going to, because I have these here, I think I'm going to use these other ones too here as well. Just gonna do them individually. So I'm gonna do some here where they can be seen. There's another one right there. see the front. How is it looking? Is it looking good? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Let me do this one. Let me do this one here. Sorry guys, it's just that I gotta see this front. Gotta see where I'm putting stuff. And this one is probably gonna go in the back. I can see a little face, a little, yeah, a little face coming from the back. Or something in the back. Okay, I'm liking this, guys. Let me get rid of my... Okay, so there you have it. See how cute it looks? What do you think? What do you say? Do you like it? So now you have all your fullness of your mesh and you have all the different picks here. And now because we use both of these to anchor this in the middle is balancing the whole thing. 
and now it's just staying in the center as it's supposed to stay. And I think adding the beads here and everything else, it kind of balanced the whole thing out. All right? So see how cute it looks? So that's all your mesh. Then your masquerade. Yeah, and so that's that's how you you know just make it. You saw that it's it's really not that hard, guys. Uh, I mean, it's easy to make. Um, the only thing that I would probably do different, depending on the container you're using, is so you don't have to worry about afterwards about balancing this thing on top. Just weigh it. So I told you how to do it, right? So get yourself some. Uh, small rocks, uh, river rocks. You find those little bags of rocks there at the dollar store too, different bags. Or you know those kind of glass beads also, they have stuff like that. Just get yourself some of those. You can put it in a Ziploc bag and um, you know wrap it up with tape, glue it on the bottom of your container, and then you place your foam around it. So that way you don't have to worry about doing what I did on top to balance it. So you are just kind of like saving yourself some time and, you know, you don't have to troubleshoot it later when you are designing, you know, you're more into the design. So if you can do it from the very beginning, you don't have to worry about doing the things that I did, okay? All right, friends. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video, that you liked it, and that you can try something like this. Um, like I say, you know, you can add all sorts of things. Uh, one of the things that you can use if you don't want to use the mesh, you can use the, um, the tool or you can also use, um, ribbon, just ribbon. You just make yourself some oversized bows and this is going to take maybe about three to four bows, you know, decent size, not very large ones. And you can make bows instead of the mesh. So, um, but like I said, uh, yes, Diana, you can also use plaster. I mean, if you want to try that, absolutely, you can do that. Um, but mesh fills it up real fast, very quick. And as you can see, it looks pretty. And you can use also one color. It doesn't have to be multicolor, but obviously with Mardi Gras, they call it the more color you use the more attractive it will be yes I think the mesh looks really nice I like it too and stayed very full as you see and I don't think that you even need to use any moss or anything to cover it because this is so full and so together you don't even need to worry about that part all right friends so um thank you guys for joining me tonight I appreciate it and if you can please uh share my video I would very much Thank you for that. Hey, Pamela, how are you? <laughs> all right, my friends. So on that note, thank you. And I will see you again very soon, okay? We're going to continue to make other designs like um, a lot more spring and Easter. And so we have a lot of things still to work on. So uh, I really hope that you keep on coming back for more. And I will see you again very soon, okay? Okie dokie, friends. Well, thank you so much. Good night. Rest well, guys. Be blessed. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.